We visited Salzburg several times during the two years prior to our recording, and the Biblioteca Musatiana became a familiar home base for our research. 481 cave. Oh, 481. In the second movement, actually, it has a very different dynamic marking. Yeah. But what about the articulation in 301? Yeah, 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 articulation. articulation. Also, bum, the dynamic. Bum. The bum, 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 bum. Yeah. It's like mm. completely. So it's really like for us, I mean, we are shocked. It's very interesting to see the first edition when um, this is only a piano score. Actually, it doesn't have the violin score written. Like nowadays, we have everything you know, written on one score. So it's really interesting to see that. We had interesting discussions about the sonatas with Dr. Amin Plinzing, and the trip to the manuscript vault was extremely informative. That's very popular with all the paintings. I was painting them all the time. Oh, really? Oh, oh yes. Oh, really? So they do the lot? Yeah, from time to time. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, uh, and here we have a letter of Mozart. You can see that uh, it looks a little bit uh, chaotic mm. because uh, there's something written in between. That's because uh, Mozart, also his father sometimes, used uh, a kind of secret code where uh, after cer a certain rule, uh, single letters were interchanged. So you had to know this code, then you could read it. And Georg Nikolaus Nissen, the second husband of Constanze Mozart, who wrote the first big biography and printed many of these letters, here uh, deciphered this uh, code and wrote uh, the real meaning in between here, and then printed the letter so in his book. In, is, is by the second husband. Yeah, the smaller one. Yeah, he often made notes uh, in the letters also. Unfinished Sonata by Mozart for violin and cembalo. Um, this piece was composed in 1784, and it's interesting that it's written on the same paper as the sonata he composed for the uh, Madame Strinasaki. And you might argue that it's maybe a first attempt to compose a sonata. He composed. Uh, one other unfinished sonata at the same time, so maybe it has something to do with it. Uh, and there are some similarities, I think, at the beginning, how it starts with uh, the piano and uh, the violin together, and then a so very short uh, uh, intersection by... The recording process, to us, was a pilgrimage to Mozart's world. His joy, tears, dark side, and the profoundness of how deeply he understood the human condition. Even as we completed our recordings, we felt as if we had just begun. We were left feeling energized, contemplating the infinite possibilities of his music, and struck with a desire to dive deeper into the sonatas, and to learn them all over again. First, the idea popped up because, you know, it, uh, I loved playing Mozart, but it was uh, very hard to find a pianist that really can play Mozart. I mean, there are a lot of pianists that can play wonderfully, but to, to be able to play Mozart, I think you just need to know the language of Mozart. Otherwise, you know, it doesn't matter what you do, it just somehow 
doesn't speak the Mozart character. And when I I remember very well when I、uh, was studying in Eastman and、um, we were、uh, schoolmates, and I、um, in played a Mozart. And then I was very impressed by her <laughs> Mozart. So I thought, oh, it would be wonderful to play these sonatas with her. So I asked her. I asked her. I don't know, two years ago or a year and a half. Yeah, I think I think it was two years. If she would be yeah, two and a half years ago. Think, yeah, if yeah. she would be interested. And then we finally, step by step, made this、uh, project. Well, Ben is it really flattering. I, I hope I live up to that. <laughs> to that,、uh, but to me, I, I'm just a, just a totally、um, passionate lover for Mozart's music, and and I truly do feel him in 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 many ways. And I think、uh, his、uh, viewpoint toward the world or the, his personality is somewhat similar to how I feel.、Um, I hope. So,、uh, so it really feels like a dream come true, and and、mm-hmm. Ben is just such a beautiful violin player, and he makes the,、uh, you know, Mozart really alive and singing on his violin. So, it's really a privilege to play with her.